In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Resource Manager. There are lots of different ways to layout your screen. I tend to have the Resource Manager at the top. You can use the Minimize button to expand and contract the Manager. And in this mode, it will become visible when you hover over it. Or you can use the shortcut Command-R to hide and reveal the Manager. Within the Resource Manager, we can see the current file we're working on here, and as we can see, this file currently has no resources in it. Let's talk about Favourites. Favourites are files you've already made with resources you would like to access on a regular basis. Below the Open Files here, you can see a heading marked Favourites. These folders below are from work groups. We'll touch on those a bit later. So to add some Favourites, click on the cog here, and select Add New Favourites Files. I've got some Favourites files I've made previously. Just going to browse to those. I'm going to click to select. Command A to select all. Then click Open. And I'm just going to add those to the root folder. And click OK. And now you can see these files have been added to your Favourites in the Resource Manager. They will be there every time you open up Vectorworks. The other thing we have here are workgroup folders. This is a way of sharing resources within a team. I won't go into workgroups in this video, but if you're working collaboratively on a project, I would recommend looking into utilising this feature. Let's look at importing resources into the current file. If you're making a lighting plan, it would be useful to have some lighting instruments. So, in these favourites, I have various instruments which I've previously made, but they're not part of the current working document. So, here are a couple of ways of bringing in resources into the working document. You can double click to make an instrument active. As you can see, Vectorworks knows this is a lighting instrument. So that's on the cursor, and it has activated the Lighting Instrument tool over here. Now click once to place the instrument, and again to set the rotation. Hold down Shift to lock to, to vertical or horizontal. That brings that instrument into our file and adds it to the root folder of the current working document. You have another option if you'd like to maintain the organisational structure you've put together in your favourites. So click X to release that. So browse to the instrument that you'd like to insert. Right click and select Import. Then you get this dialog box, which comes up where you can select where the instrument will be saved or choose Preserve Folder Hierarchy that will preserve the folder hierarchy that you've already made in your favourites. Just going to click OK. When I start a new project, I'll often import instruments in this way so I keep my resource browser tidy and easy to navigate. Once you have these imported, double click to make active and you can add this to your plan in the same way as before. One last thing, if you have resources you'd like to use from a previous show, you can browse to an old file to import resources. Click on the cog and choose Browse a document. Then browse to the document and here you can import resources you've previously used.